coaching and coaches. There are voice coaches, soccer coaches, even life coaches. Why not a financial coach? Think about the last time you faced a financial emergency, an unexpected car repair bill, a sick child, the loss of a job. Suddenly, just like in this picture, you're hanging on as hard as you can to keep from falling into a financial abyss. That's why Whitney and I are here. Hold up your hand if you remember what that feels like. I do. It's pretty scary and stressful. Perhaps you had to turn to a family friend or neighbor to borrow some money. Dip into your personal savings account or even take out a loan. Somehow, you made it work because you had some financial options. But what happens if you don't have financial options like these? Well, that's why Whitney and I are here. We're going to share what's working for parents with young children who are building their financial grit even in the face of lots of financial emergencies, who are moving from barely hanging on to steadily climbing to a place of financial stability with a coach, a financial coach. We all use GPS, right? Well, imagine entering your directions to your road to success, but then being rerouted down Broke Boulevard, Setback Street, Depression Drive, and Hardship Highway. <laughs> and it's not just you in the car. Your three precious babies are along for the ride. Would you still believe that you could arrive at your destination? Or would you get frustrated and turn around instead? Walt Disney said, the difference in winning and losing is most often not quitting. Let me tell you about a remarkable woman who did not quit, Ms. Diaz, a single mother of three young children under the age of five. When we first met her, she was anxious, depressed, and struggling to find a job. She was on public assistance. She had a very low credit score and literally no hope of ever buying her own home. But that all changed when she enrolled in a program that provided her with a personal financial coach who came alongside of her and really got to know her. The financial coach came to visit her in her home and provided her the support and guidance she needed to turn those hopes into actionable plans. And do you know what happened? I can't wait to tell you in just a few moments. Remember that concept of financial grit that I mentioned earlier? What's that all about? Think back to what it takes to stick to a weight loss plan. Learn a new language. It's really grit that makes a difference. And in particular, it's the three C's. First, capacity to make a plan, track your progress, and take action. Second, confidence, to believe in yourself and know you can do it. And third, coaching, to train with someone to build new financial habits. It's that last C, coaching, where the real magic happens. It's coaching that turns capacity and confidence into positive financial action. In fact, parents with young children are building their financial habits and their grit so that they can build brighter futures for their children, no matter where they live or what their circumstances. As I've shared with Irene, I know the importance of financial grit and the power of coaching. You see, at one time in my life, I was a divorced single parent, and I put many miles down on Broke Boulevard and Setback Street. Here I was, educated and employed, yet I still struggled financially. 
For coaching to work, families must make a decision to change their circumstances, change their situation. And that begins with identifying the why. What's motivating them to change? Is it to get out of debt, restore or establish credit, purchase a home, establish a budget? Whatever that goal is, that's the big motivating factor. But they have to be honest and they must make the commitment, showing up for their appointments, opening the door when their personal financial coach and home visitor come to their home, and following through. The coaches praise these small wins every step along the way. Remember those three C's that Irene mentioned. When families participate in the personal financial coaching program, they then have the capacity to plan and manage their finances, the confidence to know that they can do it, and the coaching support they need to be able to continue practicing those good financial habits. But how do we really know that financial coaching is working? Research, which shows that folks who meet with a financial coach are, it's both a promising practice and a powerful complement to financial literacy, education, and counseling. In fact, a recent evaluation study which compared one group of folks who received coaching to a similar group who didn't, did find coaching mattered and made a difference. But it really makes a difference for folks who met with a coach at least three to four times. Even when they make the decision to participate though, it's still common for some parents to experience some speed bumps along the way. Many families are very apprehensive about participating. They don't often want to confront or expose their personal financial situation to someone they don't know. Would you like releasing your personal information to someone you don't know? Whether or not we asked if you had a retirement account, how much do you have in your savings, what's your credit score? In order for this coaching model to work, we have to work together. And so how do we overcome that? How do we overcome this? Relationships, relationships, relationships. They are the key to helping families overcome those fears and to be able to move forward with us. Home visitors have an amazing ability to establish trust to get families to participate. Some home visitors have personal financial coaches themselves so they can confidently share of the benefits with their families. In addition to financial coaching, there's another critical success factor, grit. In another TED Talk by Angela Duckworth, she described how grit, more than IQ, was a more powerful predictor of student school success. That the passion and the perseverance to achieve your long-term goals, the grit to stick with it, even during the hard times, is critical. At the same time, we also know that grit and perseverance aren't enough, that it takes knowledge, support, and skills to turn that grit into action. What about Ms. Diaz, who I first mentioned? Talk about grit. In less than a year after working with her personal financial coach, she turned her life around. She got a job, she established a budget, and began to save money. Her credit score increased tremendously. She then bought a brand new car and was then pre-approved for a mortgage to buy a home. She made a decision and she was motivated to do what she needed to do. Every time she met with the coach, it was just another reinforcement to continue to keep her encouraged. There's another parent we didn't mention who demonstrated this financial grit. Her name is Miss Van Riper. She's a single mom of four young children. Her personal financial coach educated her on how to save, how to budget, and how to clean up her credit. It wasn't easy, but she was determined and she moved forward with working on her goals. 
And today, her credit moved from being very poor to being in very good standing. And now she's saving to buy her very first car. How else do we know it's working? We track the data. And it shows that over time, parents with young children who met with a coach are increasing their savings, they're reducing their debt, they're improving their credit scores, they're paying their bills on time more often, and they're building the confidence to manage their financial lives. That's how we know it's working. As I travel the country, I look for efforts that are building brighter futures for children. Efforts that are transformational, not just transactional. Efforts that change my perspective of what's possible. I'm inspired, not just by the data and the research, but more importantly, by the stories of the hundreds of parents with young children. Parents like Ms. Diaz and Ms. Van Riper, who are building new financial habits and the grit to move their families from the margins to the mainstream. So here's the big idea we hope you're inspired to take up. This model of financial coaching fits into a broader goal to promote health and wellness in all aspects of our families' lives. In their finances, yes, but also in their emotional and social well-being. We believe that's what it takes for them to thrive. The programs that you will hear about today are positively changing lives. And we only hope that families all across this country have an opportunity to unlock their three C's through financial coaching and support.